in this exercise, we're going to modify our application to use pop-ups. We'll also show a loading um, message on the screen together with a spinner. So this might be very useful in situations where your app needs to wait for data to be loaded in from a server. So you don't want the user to be interacting with your application in the meantime. So you would normally pop up a loading sign onto your screen. So that's the second part that we look at. And the third part, which is unique to mobile devices, is gestures. Gestures that are uh, done on mobile screens and how we can support some of the common gestures within your mobile application. Taking a look at our app, let's examine the changes that we will make in this exercise. So once we have an idea of what we are trying to achieve, then we'll look at the steps in order to implement these features. First and foremost, of course, uh, when you add in items into your favorites, which we have already done in the previous exercise, so let's add in a few items into our favorites. Then. The first thing that we will examine is the use of loading and spinners. So when you go to my favorites, it would require the data to be fetched uh, and in order to construct the list of favorites. So at this juncture, we might pop up a loading message onto the screen with a spinner being shown on the screen. So let's see what it will show up on the screen as. So when you switch to my favorites, you would notice that there is a loading message that temporarily pops up on the screen. You can also see the spinner turning around on the device before your actual list of favorites are shown on the screen. So that is one part that we will examine in more detail in this exercise. The second part that we will look at is, suppose you try to delete an uh, item from your favorites you will pop up a message asking for the user to confirm the deletion before the actual item is being deleted. So this is where we make use of pop-ups in order to show this message for the user and wait for confirmation. If the user clicks on the cancel button, then the deletion is canceled. But on the other hand, if the user clicks on the OK button, then we'll proceed ahead with the deletion of the item from the favorites. So that's the second aspect. The final aspect that you will see is the use of gestures. So for example, in my favorites, if I want to delete the item from my favorites, I'd be able to simply do a right to left gesture like this. And this will lead to the deletion request being done for that item. And then it will pop up the delete deletion confirmation um, pop up onto the screen. So if I confirm at this point, or let me cancel, and you will see that the item uh, deletion is canceled. Same thing, if I do the gesture and then say, OK, the item is deleted from my favorites. So in this exercise, as we have seen, we'll examine pop ups. We'll look at the uh, displaying of loading and spinner on the screen. And then we'll look at supporting gestures. Much of the changes that we need to make for supporting this functionality is in the favorite controller. So in the favorite controller, for the delete favorite function that we have, what we want to do is instead of directly deleting the item, we will cause the pop-up to be shown. So how do we show pop-up? To do that, we will, in the delete favorite function, in the favorite controller, we will create the pop-up on the screen as follows. The first part in order to create a pop-up on the screen is uh, to add this um, function there called var confirm pop-up is ionic pop-up confirm. Ionic pop-up, as we saw, supports three different things, show, hide, confirm, and also alert. So in this case, I am using the confirm pop-up to show the confirmation uh, uh, request for the user. And when the user confirms or cancels the operation, then we will perform the 
up, uh, the corresponding action within the delete favorite function. So here I have created a confirm pop-up here. So after creating the confirm pop-up, then this pop-up will be shown on the screen. So with the title confirm delete, and of course we are asking the question, are you sure you want to delete this item? Now, it'll come with two buttons, the cancel and the OK button. If the user clicks on the cancel button, then you don't want to do the deletion. If the user clicks on the OK button, you want to proceed ahead with the deletion. So how do we support that part? To do that, as we saw, we can add in this um, information here saying confirm pop-up then. And inside the then, we will do the, the function based upon the result of what comes in from the confirm pop-up. If the result is uh, true, then we will go ahead with the deletion. If the result is false, then we will cancel the deletion. So that's why um, that is why calling the delete from favorites in the of the favorite factory will be done only if the confirmation is okay. If the user clicks on the cancel button, then we will cancel the confirmation. So that's the reason why I am surrounding this favorite factory delete from favorites with the confirm pop-up then, and then I'm saying if res, then proceed ahead with the pop-up. If not, the else condition, you won't proceed with the pop-up. So in the else condition, you're just saying you have canceled the delete. So you will not do the deletion of the item. So depending on which button, the OK or the uh, cancel button that the user clicks on, one of these two operations is carried out. So that's how you can support making use of a confirm pop-up within your Ionic application. Furthermore, we need to inject the Ionic pop-up service into our application. So to do the dependency injection, let's go up to the controller definition here. And then I will add in the Ionic pop-up in the inline array for dependency injection and also as a parameter for the function there. So I add in Ionic pop-up and also Ionic pop-up in the parameter for the function. So this will ensure that the pop-up will work correctly. The next thing that I would like to do is to show the loading message, including an ion spinner there. So to do that, we will add in the corresponding um, service here called the ionic loading service. So, and also I'm gonna make use of the timeout service because I want to delay a short while before removing the loading message from the screen. Now, at this moment, because my server is running on the same machine, the delay between requesting for the loading of items from the server and then uh, actually showing information is so short that the loading um, message will hardly be seen on the screen. So I am artificially introducing a little bit of delay using the timeout function that we have seen earlier. So let's add in these two as the dependencies here. So I will add in the ionic loading and the timeout um, in the, using the dependency injection and also add both of these as parameters for my function here. So I add in ionic loading and timeout as parameters for this function. Next, I introduce the code in order to show the loading message on the screen. So to do that, I call ionic loading show here. And then in the template, note the use of ion spinner. So if I put ion spinner um, directive in the template there, then it will show the spinner within my loading message. In addition to that, I am showing the loading message on the screen. So that is what shows up the loading message on my screen while the item is being loaded. Now, so this part creates the showing of the message. Subsequently, you want to dismiss that message. Now, 
typically the loading of the dishes from the um, server using the query through the resource will take time. So once that is completed, either in the success or the error function, I want to dismiss the loading message once the data has been obtained from the server. So I will add in correspondingly the code into both the success function and the error function of the query message. So here I am, um, as I said, since the um, server access time is so short because the server is running on the same machine, I am simulating the delay by using the timeout function. So in this case, using the timeout function, I am delaying it by one second. So that's why you see the parameter 1000 there. And in the function, I am calling ionic loading height. So this way I will hide the loading message from the screen. And also same thing I will add to the error function here. So with this, I will be able to show the loading message on the screen. So we have already now seen how pop-ups can be used with an Ionic. We have also seen how we can show the loading message, including a spinner on the screen. The last part we're going to look at is the use of gestures. As we saw in the list of my favorites, if I do a right to left gesture on any one of those um, items, then I want to be able to delete that item. How do we handle that? To handle the gestures, we now go into favorites.html page and for the ion item in there, I'm going to add one more attribute called as on swipe left. So if I add in this attribute on swipe left, then whatever function I supply to this attribute on swipe left will be called when the right to left swipe gesture is done on that item. So in this case, for the on swipe left, I am supplying the function as delete favorite dish ID. So that is what results in the delete favorite um, function being called in my controller in this case. So when the user does a right to left swipe on a an item in the my favorites list, then the deletion uh, confirmation pop-up will be shown on the screen. And if the user confirms the pop-up, then that item will be deleted from the list. So we are reusing the delete favorite function that we have already implemented earlier. And we are calling that function using the on swipe left attribute that we added into the ion item. So this adds in support for gestures within our application. We can add in similarly other gestures on any elements within our uh, uh, templates and correspondingly invoke appropriate functions to handle those gestures. So with this, we complete our exercise. So in this exercise, we have examined the use of pop-ups we have also examined the use of loading and spinner in order to show a loading message on the screen. And we have examined one gesture, which is the right to left swipe gesture that can be done on a item in the My Favorites list.